Hi there, I'm delighted to have you back on my YouTube channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a very simple animation using CSS and then HTML. So this is just going to be what we're going to do as shown on my screen. So it's going to be a very simple animation. Consider subscribing if today is your first time and don't forget to turn on post notification so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorials. I got all my images from this website that is animatedimages.org. So you can go there and then download the images and then you follow along so these are basically gif that's graphic interchange format gif images you can see these images are already animated so we're going to use css and html just to align this and then we are good to go now i'm using my code editor and then i'm having just two files the index page and then the css page i need to style these images so they align to what i have over here they need to be on the root and then this background image it's also part of my file so i have a folder over here on my desktop this is a folder called animate this is the folder i'm going to use and i already have all my images over here so i have the background image here and then i have the animated images also here I can just increase the view size so these are the images i use for my animation now we have these images within the animated folder the index pages here and then the style so we're going to create our own file again so what i'm going to do is let me create a new file here and this file what i'm going to do is let me just call it a n so that's going to be the file and what i'm going to do next is i just want to copy the image so i'll copy the image folder and then i'll paste them over here within this particular new folder and now we need to open this full folder within our text editor so when i come here i'll go to file and i go to open folder so remember this folder is on a desktop so this is the new folder over here so i'm just going to select the folder and then click on select folder and then i'm going to open it so it's as if we are starting a new project so this is just the image so we have the image we're going to create our first file and i'm going to call it index.html and then also i need a second file okay i need a second file which is going to be the star so that's going to be star dot css so this suggests the two files i need for this project now we are just going to start running this straightforward and then we're first going to generate our code for the html so i'm just going to type this hit the tab key on my keyboard and then i'm just going to give a title let me call it animation so this is just going to be the file name that's the title and then i want to link this css within the header so you can just go ahead and say link so i'm going to say css and it's actually going to be styled or css so i have my css link within my html file so now adding the css file to your header now these two have been linked together so we can start writing our css here and then also add the content of the images that we have within this folder we can start adding them now we're going to use a tag or a property called marquee so this property will allow us to add moving images so within here we can add the direction of that we can add the behavior as well now we're going to add our first image and remember they are all within this folder so we're going to say image slash so the first one i want to add it maybe i want the host to be first so i just name it hs so i want the host to be first and then i can give this a width percentage so let me say maybe 30 percent for that okay so i'm going to make it percentage and then let me save this and i'm going to reload this within a browser and then we can see i have my horse over here and it's moving in from rather the right toward the left we want to move it to the other direction i think the size of this horse is actually too much so i'm going to reduce it from 30 percent to maybe 22 percent now i'll just go back and then reload this then i think this is okay now we need to add this background image if you look at final work over here i'm going to add this background image then we can actually monitor the direction and then make sure this image are basically on the road or running on the road so i'm going to go ahead and then come to my css and i'm going to use the body everything is within the body so i'll call the body and then use the background image property so i'll use the background image property so i'll say you are off so that's the source of the image should be in the code so we're going to say image slash 
we are using the background image i think this should be let me just confirm how i save this so that's jpeg so background jpg so that's my background image now let's save this and then let's make sure this image has been added to this background okay so you can see we have our image added to the background but the horse is somewhere we need to actually fix this the image has been repeated so we want to actually fix this and then this image should be on this road so to do that let me first set the height over here to the full so i'm going to set the image over here i'm going to add a property call i'm going to say height 100 percent 100 ve that's the viewpoint and that means it should occupy the full browser and i'm also going to set the width to let's say 100 percent i'll set the width to 100 percent and what i also want to do is i want the background at the moment the background is repeated okay this background is repeated after it ended over here so i don't want that repetition to be there so what i will do is that i'm going to say background sorry i'm going to say background repeat i'm going to say no repeat i don't want the background to be repeated i don't want the background to be repeated so let's save this reload this and then let's check what we've done you can see the background is not repeated now but we want it to still cover the entire page so we're going to say background size so we're going to use the background size we're going to set 100 percent for the top and then the bottom so it's going to be 100 percent and then another 100 percent so that this will fix so this so this can fit the entire screen for us okay so when i do this and i save this we should have this occupy the entire screen okay so you can see everything is well aligned now everything has occupied the screen now we want to actually make sure this image over here is on this particular route okay it's actually running on this route should it be suspending in the sky so i can say everything is within this marquee so everything over here is within this marquee so we want to align this so i'm just going to target the marquee down here so i'm going to say marquee and i'm just going to add a margin top so from the top i want to push it down a bit so let me just say 280 and then see so 280 pixels and then i'll save this and then meaning i'm pushing it down a bit so let me push this down and you can see at the moment this is looking perfect okay now it's on the road but we want this horse to run from what the left to the right so we want this horse to be running from the right to the left it's actually going backwards so we need to change the direction of our marquee so to do that we'll come here and then the direction of this marquee will set it towards right okay we'll set this to right let's save this and then it should look more professional okay so i'm just going to save this and then you can see now it's be right so it's, as you can see now it will running from the left rather to the right and that should be exactly what we want now we can go ahead and then just add the rest of the images so i can just select this duplicate this and then just change the name you can just change the name over here so i'm just going to modify the name so we have the dog over there sd so we can just save this and then just check this out so i'm go, going to Go to my page and then reload it so you can see we have another dog run here okay so let's try and then just add them but this should be a bit smaller so i want to set this to somewhere around nine and i actually want to duplicate this again i'm just going to add the rest and then the next one here i'm going to give it a different name i think i have a man here also running i'm going to do that and I'm also going to leave that at 22 i'll duplicate this again and have another one here that's the deed for dog i'll add this one and i think i'm going to reduce the size of this to maybe around 15 and i have a cut that's a c so finally i'm just going to come down here and then duplicate this and then that's going to be the cut c.gif so i'll save all this save all this come back to my browser reload this and you can see it has shifted a bit this has shifted a bit so we just have to uh, make some few adjustments 
okay so we just have to make sure the margin top over here we just have to reduce it so i'll reduce it to 150 250 and then see if it's going to actually fall on the road so this is getting better and i need to reduce it a bit and this should be exactly on the road so i'm going to set this to maybe 230 and then reload this and then see how perfect this is going to look like so i'll come back here and then reload this it's actually not perfect but i think 210 should do so i'm just going to reduce it back and then set it at 210 reload this and then check back in the browser then i want it to be perfectly on the road and this time around you can see everything is well aligned and this appears to be running on the road you can add more images and then everything should be well aligned for you you can use just css and html to do this i have more complex projects this is just a basic project i have more complex projects coming so subscribe and don't forget to turn